conference will now be recorded. Okay, let's start. So, uh, yesterday we understood what exactly is ATP. From last two, three sessions, we were trying to understand how availability check works in SAP. So, what we understood is ATP. What is the full form of ATP? Tushar? Yeah. Tushar, what is ATP? Sir, sorry. Yeah, can you tell me what is ATP? Sir, yes. no, I don't know, sir. Okay, that is the reason I asked because uh, normally we understood the topic, but the full forms are also important. Okay, so it is available to promise. Okay, what do you mean by available to promise? So whenever you are getting the order from the customer, okay, you want to ensure that the sufficient quantity is available to confirm that much quantity to the customer. So what happens is whenever you are creating a sales order, system determines how much ATP quantity is available. ATP quantity means the quantity which can be committed to the particular customer. So based on what is my stock? What are my total uh, planned incomings? What are my total planned outgoings? Based on that, system will be performing the ATP check and on a particular date, system will tell us whether that much material is available or not. Okay, so that is available to promise. So in SAP ECC, okay, I'm talking about ECC and comparing with S4 because when I say advanced ATP, this is a new topic which is introduced in SAP S4 HANA. This was not there in SAP ECC. All right. So in ECC, available to promise, or I can say basic, there were multiple types of available to promise. So I'll write it in this way. So available to promise in ECC. The first thing was the basic ATP, basic availability check. Instead of basic ATP, I should say basic availability check. What is basic availability check? The thing that we have done till now. Okay, yesterday, uh, in the last week, we have seen and uh, the system will perform the basic availability check. It will verify how much is a stock, what are the planned incomings, cloud out, planned outgoings, everything. Once it is calculated, system will be able to tell us whether the material can be delivered on the planned delivery date, requested delivery date, or it will do the uh, forward scheduling and tell us that which date we can confirm to the customer. So that is a basic availability check, which is available in the system. This basic availability check also performs the basic back order processing. So in basic availability check, it includes the uh, ability of the system to perform the ATP check and in if you want to do the back order processing, even we can do in the basic, basic availability check itself. So this is one thing. Second thing, if you want to use advanced features, okay, there are product allocation, for example. Product allocation is one of the scenario which is not available in the core ECC system. If you want to do the advanced uh, back order processing, advanced, uh, as I told you, the product allocation. So if you want to do the advanced features, for advanced features, for advanced ATP features, I'll say, we were using GATP functionality, which is global ATP functionality. of APO system. Okay, what do you mean by APO? Similar to ECC box. Okay, so let's say we have an ECC box. Let me just do one thing. Let's assume this is my ECC box. Okay, and there was a need of additional system, which is called as APO. So what was happening is my core basic features, if I want to perform the common basic availability check, it was happening in this system. 
But if I want to use advanced features, if I want to use global ATP, global ATP was only available in the APO system. This is a completely different system which can be integrated with ECC. So if you are using APO, you need to pay the separate because this is a separate product. So you have to pay the separate licensing fees to SAP. You have to deploy it on the another uh, server. So hardware charges, software charges, it definitely involves a lot of cost. Okay, so this APO was available as a separate system and all these advanced features, they were already only available on APO. Okay, which means if I want to perform the availability check here, I can perform the basic availability check, but if I want to perform the advanced ATP check, in that case, I have to create a integration between these two systems so that whenever system is performing the ATP check, it not only performs the check in the core ECC system, but the check should be also performed in APO. This was a very complicated architecture, right? Although it provides you a lot of benefits because if you are not using APO, then you will not be able to use the advanced features. But it was complicated because not all the data was available in one single system. Right. So there was a lot of uh, coordination required. There was a lot of interfacing required in order to transfer the data from here to here and transfer the data from here to here also. Right. So this was a challenge in SAP ECC. In ECC, this is how my basic availability check was working and my advanced ATP checks were working. Now what I have done in SAP is in SAP S4 HANA. So ATP in S4 HANA. What SAP has done is so ATP in S4. So definitely we still have the basic ATP check available, basic availability check. And then SAP came up with advanced this terminology itself is completely new advanced back order processing okay so this is part of advanced atp so within advanced atp one is back order processing so we already seen what is back order processing in basic atp yesterday but in addition to that there is advanced fiori based back order processing is now available in s4 hana and even advanced ATP, which is related to product allocation. So these are the important functionalities which are available only in SAP S4 HANA without even going to APO box. So if I want to use this advanced ATP feature now, if I want to use advanced ATP for back order processing or product allocations, earlier these functionalities were only available in APO. So there was a need of a separate APO system. But now these features advanced ATP features are pre-delivered in our S4 HANA box itself. Okay, so the same system that we are using, we don't need two systems like ECC and APO. In one single system, we'll be able to carry out all these processes. So that is the biggest advantage when it comes to ATP, okay, in SAP S4 HANA. Now, we already understood what is basic availability check. What we will do now is we will understand what are this advanced ATP back order processing functionality available in S4 HANA? And what is this advanced ATP product allocations functionality available in S4? So when it comes to back order processing, what we discussed yesterday, we discussed that back order processing means whenever any sales orders are not confirmed, if you are not able to fully commit the quantity, then based on the priority of the customer or based on how we want to change the committed quantity from one sales order to another sales order that we can perform using back order processing we understood there are two type of back order processing one is manual where the user who wants to uh, uncommit the quantity from one sales order and want to commit it to another sales order he can do it with manual intervention on the other hand there was second type of back order processing called as rescheduling in the rescheduling, system will confirm and unconfirm the quantity based on the delivery priority. Okay, so normally delivery priority is very important in case of rescheduling, where we can go and we can tell the system based on the delivery priority, try to commit the quantities to the sales orders. Right. Same way, there is a new concept or there is a new way of performing the back order processing in SAP S4 HANA. 
okay which is not only based on delivery priority you can select any combination of fields and you can tell the system to whom the preference should be given okay so even if my delivery priority is not top if even if my delivery priority is not high or very high but still if i want to consider a combination of a customer material or any particular field then i can tell the system that this particular combination should be given the highest importance right so this advanced back order processing works on this logic this is a new logic five confirmation strategies there are five confirmation strategies which are provided in sap s4 hana for advanced back order processing okay so what exactly are these confirmation strategies so you can see the confirmation strategy first one is win okay you can see confirm as requested shall, shall be fully confirmed in time so these are those customers okay i can create a confirmation strategy which can be the combination of my customer combination of my uh, delivery priority whatever different confirmation strategies i want to create i can create and i can tell the system that if this sales order belongs to this customer plus condition 2 plus condition 3 plus condition 4 whatever are your conditions if that condition is true this particular strategy will get the highest priority okay which means this customer will always win irrespective of whether the uh whether the other customers are getting the material or not but we will definitely try to give full material to this customer okay so let's assume this customer is giving you the order now okay and you have only a uh, quantity just in the stock the quantity is only available as 10 and this customer is asking you to deliver the material in next 3 days how much quantity customer is asking for 100 quantity okay this customer is asking for 100 quantity and this 100 quantity you have to give in 3 days in your stock you only have 10 quantity so what will happen is system will try to give the material from those customers or from those strategies which are the lower priority So, for example, there is a confirmation strategy called as loose, which means whenever you will be performing the back order processing automatically, whatever quantity has been given to this type of customers or this kind of strategy, it will be removed from this type of customers and it would be given according to the priority. So, if I already allocated some material here, let's say I allocated fifty quantity to this confirmation strategy, so the orders which are falling under this strategy. already consumed 50 units so what will happen as soon as i perform the back order processing all the 50 units will be transferred from here to win which means 10 was already available 50 we got from this strategy okay still we are left with 40 quantity so system will try to go to this strategy and it will find out if there are any quantities which are committed to this particular strategy so let's assume 30 is available from this also so system will remove all the quantities given to this type of customers and 30 all the confirmation orders which you have created the quantities were confirmed they will be the confirmation would be deleted and the 30 quantity will be transferred again to the win situation okay now we are left with 10 so let's assume in redistribute we have 30 quantity which is already allocated to the customers but we don't want entire 30 right which means you can see should gain but may also lose so in this case out of 30 we want to remove the 10 from here and we want to give it to the win situation okay so ultimately win has got all the material that the customer has requested okay the we are getting the quantity from the strategy where the customers are falling under this strategy lose under this fill under this redistribute and we are copying everything we are taking all the quantities from here and we are trying to confirm the quantity for those strategies which are in the win situation so this win situation means the customer is the boss whenever customer is asking for any material if the material is not sufficiently available we will take that material from redistribute fill and lose categories okay so the first priority would be given to lose which means we will first delete all the quantities from here and we will give it to the bin 